Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new speed build and also some very exciting news which I can't wait to share with you. Um, so today I'm building a base game suburban home. Just recently on the channel quite a few of you have been asking for some smaller builds and also some builds with restricted packs. So I thought why not kind of throw them all together and come up with a base game suburban home and that way everybody can download it. So I had a lot of fun making this house actually I was trying to make it as interesting and as detailed as I could obviously with all the restrictions and not having all of the packs um, but it turned out quite a nice little family home now it's a three bed two bathroom build on a 30 by 20 lot in Willow Creek and it comes in at just less than 119,000 simoleons so this by no stretch is a cheap starter home it is an expensive home but saying that after doing some game play recently I don't think it would really take too long to get 119,000 simoleons now we've got like the lottery in the sims and we've also got money trees I do think making money in the sims now is better than it's ever been um but yeah, you know, if it's base game, it's going to take a fair bit of work to get 119,000 simoleons together, but you can always use cheats <laughs> if you want to, you know, but yeah, so I was trying my very, very best to kind of create a home that was as detailed as possible, um, obviously without having any packs. Um, my husband recently bought The Sims 4 and he had a go at building a house. Now, obviously he's even though he doesn't play The Sims, he's fairly used to watching me do my builds and, you know, actually playing the game as a base game, it can be a struggle to create something at times which is as interesting as what builds are, you know, when someone uses all the packs, for instance. So I kind of thought I'd take it upon myself to see what I could actually create, which is as close as can be to the types of builds that I build and um, I'm quite proud of the way this one turned out I thought it was quite sweet I do love doing bigger builds as you know but it is really nice and refreshing to do something smaller I think I say that every time and I built this house so quick as well um, I often hear fellow simmers and fellow builders say that they build really quickly and I just don't <laughs> it takes me I think an average one of my bigger builds, for instance, will probably take an average of about eight to nine hours. Um, but this one actually only took me, I think, about four hours from start to finish. Uh, but there is a lot of detail in it. It's not just a small home. I did go completely all out, you know, hence the price in including as much in it as I possibly could. So before I talk any more about the build, I just want to share this amazing news with you all. Um, so for those of you who follow me on Twitter, you will already know this news. And I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all of your messages. Um, but a couple of videos ago, I dropped in that I'd applied to be an EA game changer. And I can confirm that on the 22nd of August, which will be two days ago now, um, I was accepted in to be a game changer. And I am absolutely over the moon. Uh, I think Kate said, who is the global community manager for EA, that 350 people had applied and uh, I was one of 47 to get in and I can't even tell you how mind-blowing it was. Um, I actually went to bed. I knew Kate was working on the applications and I actually went to bed and it was one o'clock in the morning and I literally picked my phone up and I thought, I'll just have a quick check what the weather is. 
you know what I'm like with the weather, what the weather is tomorrow. And um, lo and behold, I saw the email. So I jumped out of bed and I was just over the moon. And like I said in the message on Twitter, I literally just sat on the edge of the bed with my head in my hands, just in shock, really. It's just been such an amazing month for my channel. And it's that's a dream come true. I mean, I'd literally sat with my son the night before and I was saying to him, you know, I sort of wished and regretted sort of telling everybody that I'd applied for it because, you know, how I was going to explain that I hadn't got it and things like that. So I was really fully convinced that, you know, I didn't really stand a chance. So I do feel really honoured and really privileged to, to finally be a game changer. So not only is this amazing news for me, it's amazing news for you guys because it means that I'll be able to bring you ex exclusive looks into new content that The Sims are bringing out. So all that's to come in the future and I'm absolutely over the moon. So thanks again to everybody who congratulated me over on Twitter. Honestly, it's just an amazing achievement. So yeah, and also it's amazing because so many fellow simmers of mine that are friends are, are already game changers and it's just nice to be a part of that as well. So yeah, I'm absolutely over the moon. But yes, Moving back to the build, <laughs> now I've got that out of the way. Um, I'm just working on the back garden at the moment and as you can see it's fairly small and I did go a little bit all out on trying to jam in as much stuff into this garden as I could. So you know me with skill building items, um, I managed to put in a pool I think there was a barbecue area as well as an easel and planters. I think I've put absolutely as much stuff in the garden as it could possibly fit so this is a very busy back garden um but it's quite a sweet space really i mean if you wanted to kind of make some extra space in the garden you could always move the pool or you could get rid of the pool completely and it would completely open up the garden um but for for this particular build i thought no you know i'll make the pool a main feature and i kind of built this with the perspective in mind that you know this was a house that was bought for a family that was sort of not well established but well on the way to being established so I'd say this was like the middle house it's the house that your sims would move on to after they've finished with the starter home and you know they've got a bit of money in the bank and they want to move to something a bit bigger and I'd say it was the house that your sims would be in before they moved on to like their big millionaire's mansion you know when they've got all of the money from winning the lottery or doing amazing careers or fishing painting whatever it may be but I'm just moving on to the interior now and I must admit from the front of this house the front of the house actually looks a lot smaller than what I felt it was on the inside and um, but downstairs we've got a reception room a kitchen a dining room and also the downstairs bathroom but the actual walkway and hallway area was quite spacious as well so I managed to put in like a pc computer I think bookcases so there's all sorts all over this house and um, upstairs is a bit smaller and it's three bedrooms and one one bathroom upstairs so I wouldn't say there was any particular style with the inside of this house I didn't really go for modern I didn't really go for traditional I just went for a kind of warm house you know something very cozy I just wanted it to be like a real sort of real nice cozy family home I think that's literally the way that I do the majority of my houses um but I really loved the way this house turned out because I did feel like I feel like with most of my big builds, I always try to go for that quite homely, cosy sort of feel. Um, and this was no exception really, but because of the size of it, it just, it kind of had that feel a lot more. Um, but yeah, so I'm moving on to the living room at the moment and I did have a, a quite a change in this living room. I couldn't decide what it was that I wanted to do and it took me ages to decide on wallpapers sofas sometimes when I'm building I do just get that kind of block where I think nothing's really working you know I'm, I'm trying lots of different colors and trying lots of different um 
furniture and sofas and things like that and then sometimes I just have to take a break and I think I took a little break with this one and came back and was like right I'm going to change it up completely but yeah this TV on this dresser here in the sort of window area was driving me bonkers because I couldn't quite decide if I liked it or not but I went with it in the end anyway. So in the upstairs I decided to do a master bedroom, a kids girly sort of room and a boys room as well and I must say I did feel kind of restricted in a sense by doing the kids rooms because I think there's certain objects now when I come to do the kids rooms that are my go-to items that I tend to use a lot um so in a way the bedrooms are probably slightly different from normal just because I didn't have all of those objects to hand but I still managed I mean obviously it helped with the rooms being a lot smaller as well I still managed to sort of fill them up um, I think the main idea with this build was to try and make it look as sort of complex and detailed as all the rest of my builds without it looking as though it was just base game because I think that's what a lot of people struggle with sometimes or and in a way it's literally just a mindset in the sense that you know people think if you've just got base game that you can't be creative and you can't do as much as you can do as you had as if you had all the packs if that makes sense and obviously you can't do as much but it doesn't mean that you're restricted and that you can't be imaginative with the items that you've got and come up with something really kind of you know different something that is just what you're looking for really however I can understand if you've been playing base game for some time you do get used to using certain items and you do find your favorites and it's nice on occasion to just see you know how other people use the objects and what they do and how they use them together um so yeah it can make a nice refreshing change but it, it is I always feel really good when I do a base game home because there's that sort of sense that Everything that I build in The Sims is for other players. You know, I never ever use any of the houses that I build. I literally build for you. So knowing that I've built a base game home and that it's a home that everybody can use is quite a nice, satisfying feeling, I must admit. But I'm just moving on to the last room now and it's a little boy's room. I was going to make it a twin room, but then I thought, well, the house isn't actually massive. So, you know, we'll just... And the other room was a twin room as well. So I thought I'll just keep this one as a single room. So I just wanted to mention that a couple of people had said that they weren't receiving notifications for my uploads. Uh, sometimes YouTube can be a bit glitchy like that so if you do want to receive the notifications just make sure that the bell's ticked. Um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please give me a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already it would be absolutely awesome to have you on board but I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and I will look forward to seeing you next time. The next one is gonna be a big one. <laughs> Take care guys, see you soon, bye!